Hi, I'm Vanessa. This teacher guide is about the Mindset Learn series of lessons called Exploring Novels. In this guide, we will tell you what the series of lessons is about and how it links to the curriculum. We will also discuss ideas for using the lesson with your learners. You may want to make notes, so have a paper and pencil ready. The series of eight lessons aims to introduce the learners to the joy of reading through the study of a novel. The novel covered in this series is entitled Because Pula Means Rain. It was selected because it deals with issues pertinent to many young South Africans, even though it is set in Botswana. This helps learners to see the relevance of reading books, even if they do not seem immediately applicable to one's life, bringing home the concept that reading can expand your world. The series will help learners to see how, through examining elements of novels such as plot, character, setting, theme, mood, and so on, one can help develop a deeper and more meaningful understanding of a novel. These skills ultimately will help learners to improve their reading ability as well as their enjoyment of reading. The lessons in this series are as follows. Introduction to novels, context and the writer, setting and character, more about character, narration, mood and plot, more about plot, Theme. These lessons address learning outcome two, reading and viewing, and will help learners to achieve the following assessment standards. Explore the key features of text and explain how they contribute to meaning. Describe development of plot, subplot, conflict, character, and role of narrator. Identify and explain messages and themes and relate them to selected passages in the rest of the text. Describe how background and setting relate to character and or theme. To see the specific assessment standard for each lesson, look out for the curriculum links which are clearly stated at the beginning of each video lesson. This series takes the approach that once a learner understands the elements that make up a novel, they will be better able to enjoy it. This hopefully will impact on the amount of future reading they do. In terms of the requirements of the curriculum, these lessons develop the skills that learners will need in order to be able to comment on how an author uses structure, setting, character, mood, language, climax, imagery, and so on to tell a story. These elements ultimately relate back to the message and theme that the author is attempting to share. Learners also discover how to use extracts from a text in order to support their thinking. This is especially important when discussing character, setting, mood and theme. Although reading skills are taught here through a specific novel, it is hoped that learners will be able to transfer these skills so that they can use them with future novels they may read, both in class and on a personal level. If possible, you will find it useful to watch the videos by yourself before you show them to your learners. This will enable you to make notes of places to stop the video and ask questions or have a discussion. It will also allow you to see when and how you could best incorporate the video lessons into your learning program. You could also think of activities you could do with your learners before or after watching the videos. Throughout the lessons, you will see the pause icon. The pause indicates a good place to stop the video and get your learners to complete a quick activity or have a discussion about something. Obviously, you don't have to stop the lesson at every pause, but should you choose to use them, you will find that they will help learners get involved and keep them paying attention. To get learners interested in these lessons and to keep them involved, you will find it useful to get them to do the tasks and activities presented in the lesson. These tasks are linked to the learning outcomes given in the lesson and to at least one assessment standard in the curriculum policy. Completing the task will give both you and your learners evidence of how well they have achieved the lesson outcomes. The task can also be used as a part of the learner's record of progress towards the assessment standards for each grade. Now, let's have a more detailed look at the lessons in the series and how you can use them in your classroom. Lesson 1. Introduction to Novels The first lesson introduces learners to the concept of novels. In this lesson, learners are challenged to think about novels as a way to discover the world. 
They consider how fiction is also an account of society with regards to culture and history. You could use this as an opportunity to start a book club in class where learners bring books that they have read to share with others. Lesson 2 – Context and the Writer Lesson 2 looks at the role that context and the writer play in creating a novel. In this lesson, learners are encouraged to think about how they go about choosing a novel to read. They learn about context and how you can develop an understanding of context and the writer by asking yourself a series of questions when choosing a book. In this lesson, we meet Jenny Robson, the author of Because Bula Means Rain. This helps learners to understand the role that the writer's experiences and values play in choosing something to write about. In the third and fourth lessons, we consider the role that setting plays in a novel and how characters are created. In these lessons, we focus on the setting and characters that are used in Because Bula Means Rain. The techniques that we use to examine these features of this novel, however, could be applied to any novel that the learners are reading. As with other lessons in the series, you could extend the lesson by getting learners to write character sketches about characters from their set novel using the strategies that we use in the lessons. Lesson 5, Narration. In the fifth lesson, we look at the different styles of narration that a novel can use. We differentiate between first, second and third person narration and discuss the effects that each form of narration can create. You may want to ask learners to look for examples of the different narrative styles and tenses that we discuss in these lessons in other novels. Lesson 6, Mood and Plot. Lesson 7, More About Plot. Lessons 6 and 7 look at how mood and plot are developed in a novel. Although we use Because Pula Means Rain as an example, the same basic plot structure that involves introduction, build-up, climax, denouement and conclusion can be applied to most novels. Encourage your learners to see if they can apply this plot structure to the novel that you are studying in class. Lesson 8. Theme. In the final lesson of this series, we consider theme. In the lesson, we consider the themes in Because Bula Means Rain and themes in general. We show learners discovering and discussing themes to model strategies that learners could use to discuss the themes in other novels. Hopefully this lesson will prove to learners that novels have messages and that these are not difficult to find. We hope that you will enjoy using these lessons to teach learners about novels. If you'd like more information about using these lessons or lesson notes for each lesson, please refer to our website www.mindset.co.za.